Mutton Paya, also known as Lamb Trotter Soup. Ingredients. 4 to 6 lamb trotters, paya. 1 large onion, finely chopped. 2 tomatoes, finely chopped. 2 tablespoons ginger garlic paste. 2 green chilies, slit. 1 half cup yogurt, plain curd. 2 teaspoons red chili powder. 1 half teaspoon turmeric powder. 2 teaspoons coriander powder. 1 teaspoon cumin powder. 1 half teaspoon garam masala. 4 cups water. 2 tablespoons oil or ghee, clarified butter. Salt to taste. Fresh coriander leaves for garnish. Lemon wedges for serving. Spices, tie them in a muslin cloth or use a spice bag. 1 inch cinnamon stick. 4 to 5 green cardamom pods. 6 to 8 cloves. 1 black cardamom pod. 1 teaspoon black peppercorns. 2 bay leaves. Instructions. Clean the lamb trotters thoroughly under running water and soak them in water for 30 minutes. This will help to remove any excess blood and impurities. In a large pot, add the soaked trotters and 4 cups of water. Add the tied spices, cinnamon, cardamom, cloves, black cardamom, black peppercorns, and bay leaves, to the pot. Bring it to a boil and then let it simmer on low heat until the trotters are tender and the meat starts to come off the bones. This can take 2 to 3 hours, so be patient and let it cook slowly. In a separate pan, heat oil or ghee. Add the chopped onions and saute until they become golden brown. Add ginger garlic paste and green chilies to the onions. Cook for a few minutes until the raw smell disappears. Add chopped tomatoes, red chili powder, turmeric powder, coriander powder, cumin powder, and salt. Cook until the tomatoes become soft and the oil starts to separate from the masala. Add the yogurt, curd, to the masala and mix well. Cook for a few more minutes until the masala is well combined. Transfer this masala mixture to the pot with the cooked trotters. Mix everything well and let it simmer for another 15 to 20 minutes on low heat, allowing the flavors to meld. Adjust the seasoning if required. Add garam masala and mix. Garnish the mutton paya with fresh coriander leaves. Serve hot with naan, paratha, or steamed rice. Don't forget to serve lemon wedges on the side for an extra tangy kick. Enjoy the rich and flavorful mutton paya with your loved ones. Ingredients For marinating the mutton 500 grams mutton cut into pieces 1 cup plain yogurt 2 tablespoons ginger to garlic paste 1 tablespoon red chili powder 1 half teaspoon turmeric powder 1 teaspoon garam masala powder 1 tablespoon biryani masala 1 quarter cup chopped fresh coriander leaves 1 quarter cup chopped fresh mint leaves Juice of 1 lemon Salt to taste For the rice 2 cups basmati rice 4 tp 5 cups water 1 inch cinnamon stick 4 to 5 green cardamom pods 6 to 8 cloves 1 bay leaf Salt to taste For layering and garnish 2 large onions, thinly sliced 1 quarter cup milk, a pinch of saffron strands, 2 tablespoons ghee, 2 tablespoons oil, fresh coriander leaves and mint leaves for garnish, fried onion, instructions, wash the basmati rice thoroughly under running water until the water runs clear, soak the rice in water for about 30 minutes, in a large mixing bowl, combine all the ingredients listed under marinating the mutton, mix well to coat the mutton pieces with the marinade, Cover the bowl and let it marinate in the refrigerator for at least 2 hours or preferably overnight for the best flavors. In a large pot, bring 4 to 5 cups of water to a boil. Add the soaked rice, cinnamon stick, green cardamom pods cloves bay leaf, and salt. Cook the rice until it is 70 to 80% cooked. Drain the water and set the rice aside. In a separate pan, heat the ghee and oil. Add the thinly sliced onions and fry them until they become golden brown and crispy. Remove half of the fried onions and set them aside for layering. In the same pan with the remaining fried onions and oil, add the marinated mutton. Cook the mutton on medium heat until it is partially cooked and the masala thickens. The mutton will continue to cook further with the rice. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. In a large oven proof dish or a biryani pot, Start layering the biryani. 
First, add a layer of partially cooked rice at the bottom of the dish. Next, add a layer of the partially cooked mutton with its masala. Sprinkle some fried onions, fresh coriander leaves, and mint leaves over the mutton layer. Repeat the layers until all the rice and mutton are used up. Finish with a layer of rice on top. Drizzle saffron infused milk and ghee over the top layer of rice. You can also sprinkle some fried onions, coriander leaves, and mint leaves for added flavor and garnish. Cover the dish tightly with foil or lid and place it in the preheated oven. Bake for 30 to 35 minutes to allow the flavors to meld and the mutton to complete. Enjoy biryani with family. Ingredients 500 grams boneless mutton, lamb, pieces, cut into bite-sized cubes. 1 half cup plain yogurt, curd. 2 tablespoons ginger garlic paste. 2 tablespoons lemon juice. 2 tablespoons vegetable oil or melted ghee, clarified butter. 1 tablespoon Kashmiri red chili powder, for color, adjust to your spice preference. 1 teaspoon cumin powder. 1 teaspoon coriander powder. 1 half teaspoon turmeric powder. 1 half teaspoon garam masala powder. 1 half teaspoon black pepper powder. 1 teaspoon chaat masala, optional, for extra tanginess. Salt to taste. Skewers, wooden or metal. For garnish. Thinly sliced onions. Lemon wedges. Fresh coriander leaves. Instructions. In a large mixing bowl, combine the plain yogurt, ginger garlic paste, lemon juice, vegetable oil or ghee, Kashmiri red chili powder, cumin powder, coriander powder, turmeric powder, garam masala powder, black pepper powder, chaat masala, if using, and salt. Mix all the ingredients well to form a smooth marinade. Add the mutton pieces to the marinade, making sure they are well coated. Cover the bowl with plastic wrap or lid and let the mutton marinate in the refrigerator for at least 4 hours or preferably overnight. The longer the marination, the more flavorful and tender the mutton tikka will be. If using wooden skewers, soak them in water for 30 minutes to prevent them from burning during grilling. Preheat your grill or barbecue to medium-high heat. Thread the marinated mutton pieces onto the skewers, leaving a little space between each piece for even cooking. Brush the grill with some oil to prevent sticking, and then place the mutton skewers on the grill. Grill the mutton tikka for about 10 to 12 minutes, turning the skewers occasionally to ensure even cooking. The cooking time may vary depending on the thickness of the mutton pieces and the heat of the grill. Make sure the mutton is cooked through and tender. Once the mutton tikka is cooked, remove it from the grill and place it on a serving platter. Garnish the mutton tikka with thinly sliced onions, lemon wedges, and fresh coriander leaves. Serve the hot and juicy mutton tikka as a delightful appetizer or as part of a main course with naan, paratha, or rice. You can also serve it with green chutney or raita for added flavor. Enjoy the mouthwatering and succulent mutton tikka with your loved ones. Ingredients For the spice mix 2 tablespoons coriander seeds 1 tablespoon cumin seeds, 1 tablespoon fennel seeds, 1 teaspoon black peppercorns, 1 inch cinnamon stick, 4 to 5 green cardamom pods, 6 to 8 cloves, 1 black cardamom pod, 1 bay leaf, 1 half nutmeg, optional, 1 half mace, optional, 2 dried red chilies, for the nahari, 750 grams mutton preferably bone in pieces. 1 quarter cup ghee or vegetable oil, 2 large onions, finely sliced, 2 tablespoons ginger garlic paste, 2 tablespoons wheat flour, 6 to 8 cups water, 2 teaspoons Kashmiri red chili powder for color, 1 half teaspoon turmeric powder, salt to taste, 2 tablespoons plain yogurt, fresh coriander leaves and thinly sliced ginger for garnish, lemon wedges for serving, naan or paratha for serving, Instructions. Dry roast all the spices mentioned under, spice mix, in a pan over low heat until aromatic. Allow them to cool, and then grind them to a fine powder using a spice grinder or mortar and pestle. This spice mix is the key to the authentic flavor of Nahari. In a large, heavy bottomed pot, heat the ghee or oil over medium heat. Add the finely sliced onions and saute until they turn golden brown. 
Add the ginger garlic paste to the onions and cook for another 2 to 3 minutes until the raw smell disappears. Add the mutton pieces to the pot and sear them until they are lightly browned. Stir in the wheat flour and cook for a few more minutes until the raw smell of flour disappears, and the meat is well coated. Now, add the ground spice mix, Kashmiri red chili powder, turmeric powder, and salt to the pot. Mix everything well to coat the meat with the spices. Pour in 6 to 8 cups of water. Adjust the amount of water depending on how thick or thin you want the nahari to be. Stir well to combine all the ingredients. Cover the pot with a lid and let the nahari simmer on low heat for 3 to 4 hours or until the mutton is tender and starts to fall off the bones. You can also cook it in a slow cooker for 6 to 8 hours on low heat. After the mutton is cooked, add the plain yogurt, curd, to the pot and mix it in gently. Let the nahari simmer for another 15 to 20 minutes to allow the flavors to meld. Check for seasoning and adjust salt and spices according to your taste preferences. Garnish the mutton nahari with fresh coriander leaves and thinly sliced ginger. Serve the mutton nahari hot with naan or paratha, lemon wedges, and additional garnishes like chopped green chilies and julienne ginger for an extra kick. Enjoy the rich and flavorful mutton nahari. Ingredients For the kofta, 500 grams ground mutton, 1 medium-sized onion finely grated or minced, 2 tablespoons ginger garlic paste, 1 green chili, finely chopped, 2 tablespoons chopped fresh cilantro, 1 teaspoon ground cumin, 1 teaspoon ground coriander, 1 half teaspoon red chili powder, 1 half teaspoon garam masala, 1 half teaspoon turmeric powder, 1 tablespoon besan or breadcrumbs, salt to taste, oil or ghee for frying. For the sauce, 2 tablespoons vegetable oil or ghee, 1 large onion finely chopped, 2 tablespoons ginger garlic paste, 2 tomatoes, pureed, 1 half teaspoon ground cumin, 1 half teaspoon ground coriander, 1 half teaspoon red chili powder, 1 half teaspoon turmeric powder, 1 half teaspoon garam masala, 1 half cup plain yogurt whisked, 1 half cup water or as needed, salt to taste, chopped fresh cilantro for garnish. Instructions. In a mixing bowl, combine all the ingredients listed under kofta ground mutton, grated onion, ginger garlic paste, chopped green chili, chopped cilantro, ground cumin, ground coriander red chili powder garam masala turmeric powder besan or breadcrumbs, and salt. Mix everything well to form a smooth and evenly spiced mixture. Take a small portion of the mixture and shape it into a round meatball. Continue the process with the remaining mixture, shaping all the koftas. Heat oil or ghee in a frying pan over medium heat. Fry the mutton koftas in batches until they are golden brown and cooked through. Once cooked, remove them from the pan and set them aside. In the same pan heat 2 tablespoons of oil or ghee for the sauce. Add the finely chopped onion and sauté until it becomes translucent and lightly brown. Add the ginger garlic paste to the onions and cook for a couple of minutes until the raw smell disappears. Stir in the ground cumin, ground coriander red chili powder, turmeric powder and garam masala. Cook the spices for a minute to release their flavors. Add the pureed tomatoes to the pan and cook until the oil separates from the mixture. Lower the heat and stir in the whisked plain yogurt and water. Mix well to form a smooth sauce. Season the sauce with salt according to your taste. Let the sauce simmer for a few minutes on low heat allowing the flavors to meld. Carefully add the fried mutton koftas to the sauce. Cover the pan and let it simmer for another 5 to 7 minutes on low heat, ensuring that the koftas absorb the flavors of the sauce. Once the mutton kofta is cooked and the sauce has thickened to your desired consistency turn off the heat. Enjoy with your family.